you, 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 you talk about keeping your integrity. Um, and I want to make sure that I ask you, what do you mean by that? You see my face? I do. You see mine? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Cheryl. Tell us what you mean. You know what? The manager is usually the gatekeeper. And the gatekeeper of many secrets, uh, good and bad. And you need to shut your mouth. You can't, you know, if you get, if I got fired and I went out and talked about my client, it's going to get back because mm. the name is bigger than mine. Oh, Cheryl Cobb was talking about you. Well, if you know that Cheryl is out there talking, who wants to hire her? Mm. So you have to really pick your battles and you have to decide, you know, when you're the gatekeeper, you have to be very protective of your client. Not when it's illegal. I have to say that. But when well, you know, you know, if, if I may, but what you're saying is transferable beyond the entertainment industry exactly. it's from a principal place. Let your principles decide what you will and won't do and not the situation or the personality in front of you. So if you believe in honesty, be honest. And if you believe in being authentic, be authentic. Um, that's what I hear you saying. Can I add something to that? Absolutely. I think I get a lot of respect from my clients is be my, my clients because I am honest, because I'm direct. Mm -hmm. and sometimes it's painful for somebody to hear the truth. But I believe in fixing your crown. And when you trust somebody and you know that they're coming from a place of love and they want to help you, they're okay with getting the crown fixed. That's true. I love that. I love that. I, I tell I tell people all the time, Cheryl, that I'm not a nice person. I am not a nice person at all. I'm a good person. And the difference is Nice, in my opinion, nice people say what you want to hear. Good people say what you need to hear in a way that you can hear it. Yes, yes, I agree with you 100%. Now, if you're doing crack, I'm going to tell you to put the crack down. <laughs> <laughs> well, you should. And guess what? And sometimes you even have to make a decision that this, uh, this situation doesn't work out for me. Too much crack. <laughs> too much crack. Too much Listen, crack. I, got, I, got, I, got too much, I, I got two more questions for you. Oh, yeah. Here's, here's, the, here's the second to last one. Tell me about a time in your life, a time in your journey, um, when wish you had someone to tell you what you know now. Wow, that's a good question. Um, I would say at the age of about 16, um, I grew up, I, I, ever since I was five years, five years old, I knew I was going to be in the entertainment industry. I knew it on some level, sing, dance, act, I was going to do something. I'm a musician um, by trade. Um, I played in a high school marching band in college and all this kind of stuff, but I knew that I was going to be in the entertainment industry. It's always been in my blood, but I, I've always been a little bit bossy and always wanted to be administrative and take care of the business of things. So. Uh, when I graduated from high school, I went off with this group called Up With People. It was an international mm. organization, and there was like 500 kids from all over the world, and, there, and, and I may have been one of the only black girls. And I'm in this big, I was a, a, a big fish in a big pond. Actually, I was just a fish in the water. I didn't know what I was doing. And I'll tell you something, during that time, I learned so much from these kids, because most of them were privileged, or they seen the world, they were older than me, and I learned from them. I really took information and, um, and I was like, I know I can do this. So I didn't have the structure. I didn't know how, I didn't have the administrative skills, but I always had integrity. I always had, I was always a dreamer, but I didn't know how to put it into play. So I think at about 16 years old, if I had a Cheryl, this is why I'm writing the book, I promise you, to come and talk to me and give me these 10 little steps that are definitely gonna happen. Every person that I talk to who's read this book, and I talk about each chapter that's established in the entertainment industry, say, gospel. So if someone could have come and give, given me this information that I'm writing, it would have put me years ahead. Mm -hmm. So I think at about 16 years old, I wish somebody would have come and given me this information. And then again, at about 25, because then it, it, you, you process differently when you're an adult. 